everyone, this is Jamie from the Pikes Peak Library District. I'm glad you can join me today for our fun STEM clothespin button racers. So let's get started and figure out what we're going to need to make these button racers. First of all, you're going to need a straw, two bread ties, four buttons, a clothespin, and a rubber band. And those will be items that you'll be able to pick up from a Pikes Peak. Pikes Peak Library District branch um, as a take and make so that you can um, have these supplies ready to make these fun button racers. Uh, it may also be handy uh, to have some scissors, you're going to need those, uh, and a ruler. Okay, so let's get started. All right, first thing that we need to do is we're going to take our straw and we're going to cut off two one inch pieces. And that's where that ruler can come in handy so it can help you kind of figure out what an inch looks like. Okay, so you're going to want to cut off about an inch of the straw, and you'll want to do that twice, okay, so that you have two one-inch pieces of straw. Definitely get an adult's help if you're not sure how to cut off that one-inch piece. I'm sure they would be more than happy to help you with that. All right, so we've got our two one-inch pieces of straw. Now we're going to take those bread ties, okay, and we're going to slide a straw onto each bread tie, okay? We're going to be making the axle for our vehicles. All right, so this part gets a little bit tricky because the straw likes to slide around, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this bread tie and we're going to thread it through one of the buttonholes, okay? Kind of pull it out a little bit so we have some space to work with. Still keeping that straw on one end, as you can see here. Okay, then we're going to thread the bread tie through the other side of the button. And again, um, if you need an adult's help, I'm sure they would be happy to do that with you. Okay, and just secure it in place, kind of fold it over. Okay, and then you're going to do the other side the same way. Okay, so I'm going to take that button and I like to kind of squish the end of that bread tie down so it makes it easier to thread through that little buttonhole. Okay, I'm going to pull it through, I'm going to kind of loop it over, push it through that other buttonhole. And the smaller your fingers are, the maybe the easier you'll time you'll have doing this. It is tricky. Okay, so thread it through, pull it, twist it, and voila, you have yourself your first axle for your button racer. Okay, so we're going to do that same thing one more time. All right, so again, piece of straw on your bread tie, take a button, thread your bread tie through and through the other side, secure it in place. Oops. And that's fine if it pops off, you can just put it back on. There you go. And take your other button, slide through. Now that we have those assembled, we are going to take our clothespin and we are going to clip one axle to the clothespin. Okay, so there's a little opening right here and that's where we're going to be clipping our first axle. So we're just going to open up our clothespin and we're going to set that axle in there. And let me actually get that right in the middle so that we have that just like a car. All right. Now the second axle is actually going to be going on the back of our clothespin close to the spring. Okay. So we're just going to take that axle and we're going to shove it up there as far as we can. And again, I'm going to kind of slide it over so that it's in the middle. And we have it kind of even. Okay. And then we're going to take this rubber band and we're going to be securing the axle to the back of the car by just wrapping this rubber band over and around the clothespin so that that straw doesn't slide around. Okay, and you can make some adjustments and tighten it if you need to. Okay, and then kind of straighten out your wheels a little bit. You've got yourself 
a button racer ready to roll. All right, so you could have races with friends or siblings and make yourselves a nice ramp, maybe take some cardboard and put it at an angle off of a table or race down those ramps and have some fun. So don't forget to pick up your take and make supplies. It will come with some directions as well. You can always play this video back uh, as many times as you need to to assemble your fun button racer. So happy racing everyone.